uh, a Hawaii family, Hawaiian family. And uh, while he grew up here in Hawaii, um, he was immersed in Hawaiian language, Hawaiian school, and uh, he became very fluent in Hawaiian language and also Hawaiian music. Uh, so without uh, further ado, mga kaibigan, and uh, I wanted him to sing live so you can hear the fantastic uh, voice that he has. Uh, but we will save that for another day. Uh, he said he'll come back. I hope, I hope, I hope uh, Kamaka comes back. And, um, well, without further ado, mga kaibigan, please palakpakan po natin and welcome to the program, Mr. Kama Kamaka Kehao. Yes. Fernandez. Aloha. Aloha. Thank you for having Aloha. me. Aloha, yes. Uh, so, um, we're going to play a song here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this song that we're about to hear? All right. The song is titled Heleo Nanino Ia, which translates, it's a beautiful voice. And uh, in Hawaiian music, uh, there's a lot of kauna or a lot of hidden meaning within in, within the Hawaiian song. Mm -hmm. So, this t song part particularly speaks of uh, of a bird known as the elepayo. And the elepayo bird was used as a guidance, especially for the canoe carvers. Now, growing up for myself and, and cousins, we all spent a lot of time in the ocean and paddling. And um, this certain area in Kahului, Maui, um, was a place where my, my, my mother and her siblings used to always play. It was like their background. So it was kind of like a full circle for, for the family. Um, but the, the concept of guidance in this song is exactly how my life was uh, raised on Maui and being, you know, immersed in the culture and, and just a lot of appreciation I have for, for the beauty of Hawaii. Um, I, I composed this song titled Heleo Nanino Ia, and that voice, that beautiful voice, is the voice of my mom. Really? Okay, interesting. Yeah. So um, let's hear it. Mga kaibigan, please, pakinggan po natin. Here is uh, Kamaka Kehao Fernandez and Heleo Nanino Ia. Is that correct? You got Did it. Say that right? <laughs> okay, pag <laughs> po natin mga kaibigan. <laughs> Beautiful sounding song. Ah, nice recording. Yeah, I yeah, nice recording. Worked with a good producer <clears throat> on this one, uh, mm -hmm. named Dave Tucharone, mm -hmm. uh, Seventh Wave Productions. This is um, amazing, right here in Honolulu, mm -hmm. uh, in Salt Lake, actually. Very nice. And uh, I also like the band. Very nice band. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, when, uh, when you come up with these songs, is it difficult to do when you write uh, music? 
Uh, it comes it comes in spurts. I actually uh, composed a lot of these songs like several years back, and and finally you know got to sit down with many mentors of mine and and go over my own lyrics and and compare and kind of get a little advice from them uh, to give the song a little bit more depth. Um, but considering that I am a fluent Hawaiian language speaker, it mm-hmm. makes it a lot easier to compose Hawaiian so music. Is it difficult to learn Hawaiian? Uh, not Hawaiian. if you put your heart to it. You know, I think uh-huh. anything in life, it, you know, it's, it's, uh, I think it's a lot easier than Japanese, that's for sure. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, it might be similar mm-hmm. uh, because of the same vowels and what have you. But uh, Can you say something like, uh, let's say, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Aloha oina laia kako apo. Oh, yeah? Okay. Okay, can you say something like, uh, listen to Alan Alvarez? <laughs> Ho'olohe, ya Alan Alvarez. Okay. Okay, listen to Alan Alvarez uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, oh, yeah. Ho'olohe, ya Alan Alvarez. Manapo akahi ai kapo alima ma kphi. Wow. 96.7 FM. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going to use a liner. Do you mind? Thank you. Know, can okay. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, man. Um, if, uh, if somebody wants to learn Hawaiian, what would be your uh, suggestion or recommendation? Yeah, well, my recommendation, I mean, we have an endless amount of resources, uh, you know, the internet and UH has a great program. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been actually influence to to push and and, and do something on a uh, skype <laughs> so i may oh, yeah? what do you mean very well be starting my own little online uh skype classes oh really well. yeah. oh that's interesting yeah it's gonna be expensive uh nah no not really just just so that to the basics i want to you know give people mm-hmm. that opportunity to just learn the basics and and how to say it. And, and that's how i learned everything was by listening so mm-hmm. if you're a good listener then yeah, but there's something about listening to and then, you know, knowing the words and the, the grammar. Is, is the grammar in, in Hawaiian language, is it similar to English, the way the sentence structures and adverbs no, and verbs? No, definitely not. Different. It's, it's a little short. It can be a little shorter, and it, just, it all depends. Mm-hmm, it all mm-hmm. depends, yeah. Well, that's great, man. And uh, wh- when you were learning uh, Hawaiian, uh, what got you into Hawaiian music? Uh, well, Hawaiian, what got me into Hawaiian music? Uh, yeah. You know, actually, I was just sharing this story with someone else, and mm-hmm. Hawaiian music was not the first thing on my list. I was actually in more into the Jawaiian style. Jawaiian uh, with the reggae, yeah, reggae style. influence, mm-hmm. and um, it wasn't into until 2002 that uh, I just one day was fooling around, and some friends of mine said, "Oh, you should try singing like that," and I said, "Nah, I don't think I don't think that'll be, you know, that it would be interesting," mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but. Um, Sure enough, I ended up in my favorite studio, which is the bathroom, and uh-huh. <laughs> sang a storm, uh-huh. sang up a storm, and uh, um, ended up going to uh, the Celebration of the Arts, which is on Maui. It's an annual Easter event mm-hmm. uh, that happens at the Ritz-Carlton, and mm-hmm. um, my uncle actually works there. So he was mm. walking in the back halls, heard this voice, came around the corner, and mm-hmm. sure enough, it was me. Mm-hmm. At that point, he... In- uh, influenced me to go into the uh, uh, the Richard Holpe falsetto contest, and that's and that was in 2003, and that's when everything pretty much began. Mm-hmm. And the more reaction I seen from people and how you know, uh, you know, it was a putting a positive message out there. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I am African American, but yet doing something totally out of my own culture. But you know, the message really is: it's we live in Hawaii. It's all about aloha and. I want to share that aloha and give back to what I've learned. That's interesting, yeah. but uh, yeah, you're African American, but you grew up here in Hawaii, so right. I think we, the culture you know would be the culture here in Hawaii. Exactly, I would, I would just assume. Exactly, but I like I, Barack Obama. Exactly, right? Yeah, but yeah. I do not take away the fact that you know the bloods that flow through my vein are still African American. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, that's but. probably what gives you your musicality. Mm-hmm. Perhaps. Right? I mean, because yeah. uh, let's face it, I mean, uh, some of the best singers in the world are African American. <laughs> some of my favorite singers in the world, Marvin Gaye, yeah. Luther Vandross. I mean, you, you, it just the list will just never stop. Uh-huh. Come on, come on, Kakea. Hey. <laughs> Fernandez, <laughs> one of my favorites. No, actually, I heard your song, um, I don't know if I can pronounce this correctly, Hemel uh-huh. Nohina. Uh, I hear I hear that song on the the, uh, the Hawaiian station, the Hawaiian music station. Um, 
K-I-N-E. Yes. And then I said, oh, you know, that's, I really love that song. And then when you when you contacted me, you said, oh, I want to play. And then you, you, you uh, I searched your YouTube. That's him. <laughs> you know, I, first of all, when I first heard that song, I would never imagine that it was from you. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I thought it was sort of maybe a female or, you know, somebody. Right. Or this big Hawaiian guy <laughs> that sings with that falsetto. Right. But then when I saw it and I saw you and I, I saw that news article, so I'd be going, wow, man, this guy, galing nito, ha, pare, so be going, And uh, I said, I'd like to have you on the show, which is why, I, well, anyway, you said you'll come back, right? I will. Okay, I, I will definitely come, come back. Come back, come yeah. back. Even if it's just a ukulele or yeah. something. Yeah, right? yeah. You can bring the band, too. <laughs> We've had a band in here before. Really? Yeah, but uh, they had to use us as the keyboard. <laughs> They cool. put, uh, you know, I can have yeah, them. We'd make it work. We'd make it Bro, work. Bro, right? I mean, you can fit 20 Filipinos in here. <laughs> <laughs> and one black guy, that, that would be you. <laughs> Man. Cool. All right, so, okay, um, for, for many of um, our young people, okay, uh, they, they, they take music, and, but they do, they do hip hop, let's say, or they do rock, or they do these type mm -hmm. of other genres. Um, what if there was there were musicians out there and they want to get into Hawaiian? First of all, would you recommend musicians to get into Hawaiian music? I think it's good for you know anybody that's uh, you know aspiring to be an artist to to know a little bit about every genre mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. then you you know you're you're versatile mm -hmm. uh, and and you can then be claimed as doing anything. Yes, but what if uh, I'm talking more What's, about prolonging the culture? You know, like yeah, definitely extending and definitely mm -hmm. because it's you know if you if you live in this within the islands, um, I would say that it's very important to share mm -hmm. what Hawaii is all about, and mm -hmm. not just as a human being or as an individual, but you know what who we are as as the people. You mm -hmm. know who, what mm -hmm. what the culture of Hawaii is like. Mm -hmm. How do people react, man, when they see you? And then oh. they, they and then and then all of a sudden you have that that angelic type of Hawaiian sound. Yeah, it always it always you know. Does it get you girls? Does it get you girls, man? <laughs> I I have had a few <laughs> that have approached no, me. No, man, but let me I, tell you, I, man, I'm not now <laughs> with a voice like that, dude. I think you can. Uh, you can let's just let's just say uh, girls probably wouldn't be intimidated uh, yeah, yeah. meeting you. Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, man, I commend your um, uh, prolonging or pro promoting. Um, Hawaiian music. I love Hawaiian music. If I'm not listening to Filipino music, I'm I'm usually on K I N E. Nice. Yeah. So because I love Hawaiian music, and <clears throat> and I think that's one of the I think that's one of the perks of living in Hawaii is you can hear original Hawaiian music mm -hmm. right here, For and sure. you can even go to the uh, you know. Do you play around town? I do. Um, Where do you play? Some of the places that I've entertained or will be entertaining is mm -hmm. at Kanikapila Grill at the Outriggery Hotel. Sure. And um, once in a blue moon out in uh, Hale Iva Joe's in Kaneohe. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, would you be open to doing festivals? Absolutely. Are you expensive? Uh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> That's the magic word. Uh, no. <laughs> No, because the, we have these, you know, Filipinos, we love festivals. Uh -huh. We just do. I mean, we're just Filipinos, you know. Um, and sometimes if they, they ask me, Alan, do you know anybody who... One, one year, we had this taste of Kalihi, mm -hmm. and I had like about maybe five or six of my, my guests who appeared on my show actually play for, okay. the, for the fiesta. And um, if you're open to that, man, I'd like to uh, submit your name. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely. But, you know, I don't know if they have a budget, but... Maybe just a couple of songs you can contribute for the yeah, Filipino we can community. Work something out. Yeah, work something out for we'll, sure. We'll give you some. Uh, we'll give you some uh, sinigang and. Uh, oh, you know my favorite is. Uh, <laughs> dinaguan. You like dinaguan? Oh, I love that. My daughter loves dinaguan, man. <laughs> it's just the taste, the tangy yeah. taste, and the meat. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Where do you uh, do? You, have you been exposed to a lot of Filipino food? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, Aside from the Nuguan, what do you like? What else do I like? Uh, banana lumpia. <laughs> adobo. Do adobo. You like, do you like adobo? <laughs> yeah. How about pinapa itan? Mm, never heard that? I, I... Okay, I got it. How about asoreta? I never tried that. Asoreta, I never tried that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. You don't <laughs> want to try that, bro. <laughs> Is it bitter? 
<laughs> Ooh, not only is it bitter, man, it's hot. Oh, okay. You eat it, it's hot. It makes your body warm. Oh, okay. I don't yeah, know. we're not going to okay. go there. <laughs> but um, do you uh, do you have, are you familiar with Filipi Filipino culture? I'm sh I mean, Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, mean come I, on. on Maui, I, let me tell you, I worked with a whole lot of them. I used to yeah. work in a care home, senior care home. And oh, okay. They're all there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so is, so this, is, this, is this what you want to do now? I mean, are you going to full-time music or? Uh, I am and have been and just one. been, you know, and it's really the motiv the motivation behind it is is to get the story out there because I know that there are uh, dozens thousands of people out there who may shame, share the same story of being mm -hmm. adopted mm -hmm. and I've come mm -hmm. across many people who have a little remorse against their birth parents because why did you give me up but sure you know we I think need to just learn to be appreciative for what we have absolutely man yeah absolutely so and it's yes. hard to do, you know. It is. It's it hard. is. I Sometimes mean, the world we live in. Oof, so pe much. People want more things than what they have, and yeah. they, they should be happy with what they have. Yeah. And then more good things will hopefully come. You yes. know. So, all right, man. Uh, where can people? What's the name of your album here? So, Vahi Mahalo is the name of the album. Um, the only place that it will be distributed is uh, at Namea Hawaii, which is at Ward Shopping Center. Or you can just contact me direct. I do my own self-distribution mm -hmm. at kamakakihel.com and I'll be more than happy to send you a copy. Okay, mga kaibigan, kung uh, kayo po ay na, nanonood sa ating Ustream, nakikita nyo ang ating uh, album cover of uh, Kamaka, Ke, Kamaka Kehao Fernandez and the album is called Wahi Mahalo? Yes. Is that it? Wahi Mahalo? Yeah. And uh, available at uh, through him directly or what's the place where they can buy? The other place you can try and check is Namea Hawaii. Namea yeah. Hawaii, okay. That's at Ward Shopping Center. At Ward Shopping Center. Okay, man. Um, so how can people reach you, man, if they want to they want you to play at their gig? Do you do you do do you do parties I and do. gigs yep, and events? I do it all. I put in yep. all that time. So kamakakehal.com uh, is my website. Okay. Um, what does also, Kamaka Kehau mean? Kamaka Kehau means the heart's desire. Wow. And my mother's cousin actually gave me that name. She was attending uh, UH Manoa Hawaiian language. Oh, really? Fantastic. Because it was my mother's heart's desire to have a child. Okay. Uh, well, that, that name suited me. Perfectly. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a beautiful story, man. Like I said, you have a great story that I wanted people to hear about. Thank you. Uh, I, but I think people would really be impressed if they actually heard you know yes. you live and they will and they will and Which they can if, why you need yeah. to stay tuned and, and continue to listen to Alv alan alvarez on kphi that's right thank you so much <laughs> man thank you and thank you for that liner again and uh you want to just uh say thank you to our uh filipino people of hawaii absolutely okay aloha to each and every one of you and thank you for listening and uh may you have a wonderful wonderful week and weekend all right, Mark, I begin. Uh, on behalf of uh, KPHI, uh, Kamaka Kehau, and uh, the owners, owners, producers, DJs, engineers, and everybody, we want to say thank you, man, for coming down and uh, letting us know about your talent and your uh, wonderful ability to sing. And uh, we look forward to the, your next appearance here. And hopefully it's sooner than later. I know you're going to California. Yeah. Why are you going to California? I'm going to California to to do a few more shows up there. Uh, what what part of California are you going to? Maybe in the Bay Area. So I'll be a Great. part of the uh, Solona Stroll, which is in Hayward, and then they're having a Napa Valley Aloha Festival. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. And you're singing. I'll be singing. Great, man! Congratulations. Wish you nothing but success, more success in the future, Kamaka Kehau. And um, as they say in Tagalog, maraming maraming salamat, uh, gayam, para sa inyong uh, pagdalaw dito po sa ating programa. So thank you very much. Aloha and mabuhay to you, your family, your future, and everything else. Thank you, man. Mahalo. All right, we're going to take a uh, top of the hour break, and when we come back, more of the Midday Radio Show. So wag kayong aalis, mga kaibigan. Wag kayong bibideo. Babalik tayo. Kaagad. KPHI Honolulu, K244EO Honolulu, 96.7 FM, 11.